Michael was still a major hurricane when it crossed the border into southwestern Georgia last night. It is the most powerful storm ever recorded in that part of the state. It caused, as you see, widespread damage and one death. An 11-year-old girl was killed when a tree fell on her home. More than 230,000 homes and businesses in Georgia are still without power right now. Mark Strassman is in Roberta, Georgia, where there's tornado damage from Michael. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning. One of the many ways that hurricanes can be so destructive is because they spawn tornadoes, and that is what happened here. If you take a look at those sheared rooftops behind me, the tornado came charging through here, swatting down trees and power lines and damaging homes. In fact, at least seven homes were damaged just in this rural neighborhood. It also rained all night in south and central Georgia. Uh, in fact, some parts of the state could see up to six inches of rain. 108 counties in Georgia are under a state of emergency this morning. Morning. That's nearly 70% of the state. Power crews are out assessing uh, power losses and trying to restore power to the roughly quarter million people who are now without it. That will take days. I want to give you one more testimonial to just how powerful this uh, hurricane was. I'm standing 250 miles from where Michael made landfall, and yet it was still strong enough to cross into Georgia as a Category 1. It's the first Category 1 to hit the state of Georgia since, 19, uh, since 1898. Think about that, 1898. This is the last time a major hurricane crossed into the state of Georgia. Brianna? Mark, I'll take it back from you. <clears throat> Pardon me. Wow, that's, uh, that's some time. Yeah. And